Hey, welcome back to the garage, everyone. Got a quick video here on resurfacing copper crush washers. Had a bit of a power steering fluid leak in my car, and I thought to myself, I wonder if there's a way to fix this. Or this is where it was installed before, right? So what I'm going to use is sandpaper, a rough grit, and then a finer grit. And then uh, with the finer grit, I'll put a little oil on it. And you can see this area right here as well. There's some debris, and that's a recess. You can see that right in there. So we're going we're gonna to resurface this crush washer, see if we can make it to seal again. Um, I watched a video on this just recently, and I thought I would give it a try. So here we go. All right, so we've got some 150 grit. And see where we go. Let's get our camera positioned so we can uh, take part here and see how this works. Now, I don't think you want to get too aggressive on the first pass, obviously. So we'll stop right there and see what we've got. And you can see already that it's starting to, you can see this, uh, this area right here that little recess is starting to go away already let's give that a look it's getting a little smaller our little problem area is getting a little smaller so why don't you just go to the parts house and Buy some more crush washers. Well, I don't want to. Cost money. That's a pretty good reason. That little indentation's a little deeper than I thought it was going to be. That's all right. I think we can get it. I think we're about there. Let's see what we got on the other side here. Yeah, it's a little rough because it's 150, but we're going to finish it up with some real fine stuff. I'm just going to do this one side for the video here. And, uh, well, I don't know, maybe I'll do both sides. Who knows? You know, I think we've got that cleaned up. Now we got to smooth it out. So this is what I'm. This is my plan. I got some 1500 grit. Now you can tell over here, right here. I was already working on another one. It's like a cooking show, really. You know. <laughs> I, uh, this is one I did earlier. Okay. And this is what it looked like after I was done. I believe that looks pretty good to me. That looks like it's good enough to seal, in my opinion. Of course, I'm, I don't, haven't gotten a, a microscope after it, but, uh, you know. All right, so here's our surface that we just hit. I'm going to put a little, just a smidgen of oil down here. All right, here we go. We're going to uh, hit the, uh, the side we just sanded on the uh, 150 with a little oil. See if we can't make it real pretty. Where's my, got a towel over here on the side. Wipe that off and see what we got. It's looking pretty good. I think I might hit it just a little more. Whoops. Gotta have tough fingertips. I used to work in a restaurant a long time ago. Flipping hamburgers will toughen up your fingertips. <laughs> By golly, I think that's got it. That looks pretty good to me. All right, now we're going to do this side. 
it's not quite as bad. So we'll move back over here. To that, we'll go ahead and do both sides. Now, this side's not quite as bad. It shouldn't take as long. Let's see what we got here. There was one little divot. You can see it up there by my thumb. That line. We're trying to get rid of that. Yeah, I believe we got it. All right, got our rough, our rough texture. Now we're going to move over here, back over here to our uh, our smooth paper. This is 1500 grit, by the way. Put a little dab of oil on there. Still a little rough. Let's continue on. It might be there. Let's see. Use my my camera as a makeshift magnifying glass. You know, I think I'm gonna hit it one more time. I need a little more. Need another drop or two of oil. Yeah, get over here in a new, a new section of paper. We wore the cutting surface out on the other one. You can tell it feels better already. I'm gonna call that done, ladies and gentlemen. All right, that is resurfacing a copper crush washer. In this particular instance, this goes on a power steering hose. So, hey, I appreciate everybody watching. And uh, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit the like button. And I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel, too. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later. Hey, you guys didn't think I was going to leave you hanging, did you? Well, there's my power steering pressure fitting right there. That nut with the stripe on it, with the light shining on it. Uh... One copper crush washer goes below the head of the bolt. The bolt goes through the hose connector and then where the connector mates the surface of the power steering pump, there's another copper crush washer. And uh, you can see where I, my leak was coming from. I, for whatever reason, those, uh, those crush washers started to leak, man. I don't know what the deal was, uh, but I seem to have fixed it, so it's all good. I'm calling it fixed. Zero dollars. Have a good one.